hi guys welcome to my channel this is our DIY for today if you're watching from a different platform and you'd like to show me some support you may have to do so by following the on-screen directions please click the three dots on the top right corner and then select open in YouTube and from there you can select to give me a thumbs up or you can subscribe or you can leave me a comment I love to hear from you guys if it's your first time here, welcome and thanks to my subscribers for keep coming back to show your support. These are the items I'll be using and the full list will be in the description box below. So the first thing I do is to apply Mod Podge all over my poster board and I'm using my foam brush from the Dollar Tree to do so. Mod Podge is going to give it a texture and it's also going to make the foam board a little bit thicker. This will be the back. That I'm applying this brown. It was also the dull side of the poster board and I'm just pulling the paint in a straight line and when it was halfway dry I just used my dry brush to go over it and it created this kind of ripple effect. I won't be using the back so I won't focus as much on the back but in case I should use it and the back should show then it will sort of match the front. Now I'm going to do the front side of it. For the front I'm using my lightest brown and I'm mixing it with white and yellow paint and this will be my undertone and my main goal when applying the paint is just to pull it in a straight line Now I'm using my dark brown and my light brown and I'm just applying it directly to the sheet and all I did was just continue pull it down in the straight line it's super easy to do I wasn't satisfied with the first coat so I did a second one but it ended up drying much darker than I thought so I probably could have left it with the first coat but it turned out very nice and if you want to do this you can also use a straight edge to help guide the brush when you're pulling it down and that's what I did with the brown color to help intensify the look some more So this time I used a wire wreath to attach my chandelier to my light fixture and I'm applying it to a foam board so I'm marking out my area leaving two and a quarter inch on each side. And you can use a compass to help you with the center. It needs to be about half an inch away from the wire wreath. So I'm just measuring out my area. It's two and a quarter inch away from where the reed stops. So the total width is going to be about five and a half inches and then I'm going to pare it down to five inches before I start to apply my pieces. So next I'll be cutting off the first two um, inner parts of the wire wreath and I'm leaving those parts on the edges there because that's where I'm going to use to hook over my light fixture. And then I'll just apply it with E6000 and hot glue.
so i tested it to make sure it would work on my light fixture and i ended up cutting off the first piece of the hook and this is how it looks up there so i was satisfied with it and after that i attached a second piece of the foam board because i want it to be wide enough for my thumbtacks it's actually furniture tacks that I have but ton tacks will be fine so I'm just applying both pieces with one light layer of school glue. And then I apply mud podge to the area because I believe in it white. I made tiny marks just to um, figure out where I want to place my pieces. So it will be three layers, um, so I'll have one inch gap between the layers. And here's my poster board after it was fully dry. The layers of paint and Mod Podge made it very firm. So I flipped it on the back side and I'm gonna make my marks from that side. And I'm just marking one inch apart. And I'm marking from the side that is 22 inches long, so we'll end up with 22 pieces. So I just mark both ends and I connect them to make sure that the line is straight when I'm cutting. A paper cutter would be very nice. It would be better to use one instead of scissors. The lines would be much sharper. So I'm just using my hot glue to apply the pieces and for the first row I made each ripple about 6 inches long. This got too small, I attached it by the base. While you're watching, I would really appreciate a thumbs up. It helps YouTube algorithm to recognize me. And it will help to grow my channel so I can put out even more tutorials weekly. And if you're new here and would like to see my weekly tutorials, please consider subscribing and select the post notification so you'll be notified the moment I upload a new video.
For each row, I'll apply them one inch apart. And for this second row, the ripple will be nine inches. Skip one inch and then the last row will be 12 inches. So I'm just using my hot glue to close the gaps that's going around between the two foam boards. And the hot glue will also help to hold my buttons in place. And I'll also apply the buttons on the inside. And here's the final look. This one was by far the easiest one I've made so far and it's very easy to apply to the light fixture. Please leave me a comment and let me know if you'll give this one a try. It's very easy to make. Take care now.